Well, we will have a first World Coconut Congress. This would be held in uh, SMX uh, Mall of Asia Convention Center on August 14 to 16, uh, 2018. So this we will be having an, an exhibition area where the different companies and producers of coconut products will be uh, exhibiting their products and the uh, visitors who are interested in the business can go in and meet with the different uh, companies in the exhibition area. We will also have a, a conference area. This is where we will have uh, presentations uh, from uh, the different sectors in the, in the coconut industry. On the first day, we will have the opening ceremony and we're hoping to get the uh, opening remarks done by the president. We will have also officials from the Philippine Coconut Authority, uh, from the private sector, uh, in the coconut associations of the Philippines. And after that, we will already have uh, talks from the different uh, experts in the industry. The most important day would be the last day, which is on August 16. In, on that day, we will have uh, mostly foreign doctors and health experts. They will present all their findings, which show how uh, beneficial to the health or the personal care are our mostly on the coconut oil. And this is the reason why we are having a the exponential uh, growth in the exports of what you call uh, value-added coconut products. These are the uh, non-traditional emerging coconut products. Uh, in particular, these are uh, a virgin coconut oil, coconut water, uh, coconut uh, milk, coconut flour, uh, organic coconuts, which uh, it includes organic BCO, organic RBD coconut oil. We also have now a lot of exports even on the what you call uh, efflorescence or the sap from coconut. So these are coconut nectar syrup, coconut sugar, uh, and then from the sap you have coconut nectar vinegar. So, so the, the whole world is now uh, accepting and noticing the tremendous health benefits of, uh, of using coconut products. And not only that, this is perfect for what you call the green movement. When you go to many countries, especially in the developed world, you will see how important and the increase of accelerated increase in growth of organic products, of sustainable products, of renewable products. Uh, our coconuts are perfectly factors are grown organically by default. Uh, co uh, coconut trees rely on the rain for the water and in most cases the, we are uh, a nation of 7,100 islands and so in fact fertilizes our coconuts. So our coconuts are perfectly happy in the Philippines. We are now the number one exporter of coconut products in the world. We are the third biggest producer of coconuts. So we have uh, 330 million coconut trees and every year it produces 15 billion uh, coconuts. And this doesn't stop, it just, just keeps on producing more and more coconuts. So right now we are moving from just a uh, coconut oil centric uh, industry from just exporting just the crude coconut oil which is a low value but now we are moving towards uh, more value added coconut products and second we are now utilizing all the other uh, products coming from the coconut so uh, these are starting from the fiber uh, which is used in so many applications, in soil erosion, in board. Then we have the shell used for uh, as coconut charcoal, activated carbon. Then we go to the meat, we have uh, uh, desiccated coconut, coconut flour, which is now uh, 
being touted as a superfood due to the high fiber and the no no gluten content. And of course, you have the oil from the virgin coconut oil and, uh, and coconut milk. Uh, even coconut water is a phenomenon in itself. They're saying it's a it's the best uh, natural energy product, not the synthetic ones which are uh, more common. So everything, this is the perfect time for us. That's why the concept of the world coconut bungers is the time is now. We need to already take advantage of all these trends happening in the world. We, we cannot just sit and accept that our coconut farmers are last year when the prices of copra were high, they were earning 20,000 pesos per hectare per year. 20,000 pesos. And now that the prices of copper have crashed, they're earning 7,000 pesos per hectare per year. So we cannot anymore accept that because basically they are wasting when you are a copper farmer. You waste everything except the, the copper. So, so we are taking advantage of the opportunities which are opening uh, in the uh, international markets for all our copper products. So it benefits everyone in the industry from the farmer to the oil miller to the processor, even to the consumers. Uh, we are now uh, hoping to also have already the, uh, the increased blend of coconut by diesel in our diesel. Right now the blend is, uh, is 2%, uh, but in order to arrest really the crushing uh, very low prices in copra, which is dependent on the international prices. We are having a domestic demand, big domestic demand for our coconut oil. So it will not be subject to the extreme volatility in prices. So we're hoping to increase the blend from 2% to 5%. So it will, 20% uh, of our uh, coconut oil exports will be allocated to the domestic demand. So this will have a multiplier effect. So the, from copra to crude coconut oil to the refiners to the biodiesel plants and finally it will benefit the, the consumers, the, those, the riding public because of the uh, reduced uh, air pollution and second we will have an increased uh, mileage in our vehicles and, and third, we will have a more, uh, we will have a better energy policy. We, we, we should not be 100% just relying on crude oil. Uh, so now, now that we have a local uh, alternative for our energy requirement for, for diesel, even at 5%, uh, it will have a balancing effect on the even on the volatility in the foreign exchange because everything is uh, available locally. So uh, we will have a very exciting uh, discussions and all the uh, stakeholders in the industry will be uh, there in the World Coconut Congress. In fact, now we have more foreign delegates who are coming here. We have people coming from the US, uh, from Europe, from Australia, from Japan, Korea, even from India, uh, Pakistan. And so it, this is a very ex uh, exciting uh, coconut congress and we are hoping that uh, if you are in any way involved in the industry, as a farmer, miller, refiner, or in uh, BCO production, exporter, distrib distributor, uh, please come and join us in the first World Coconut Congress. Uh, if you want to know more about the Congress, you could click on the website, it's www.awardcoconutcongress.com.